Good morning, Comstock High School. Today is Thursday, May 9th, and this is Harry and Alex bringing you today's announcements. For today's lunches, there will be the choice of beef patty, pepperoni stromboli, cheese quesadilla, deli turkey, and fajita style chicken bowl. Now, let's go. Thanks, guys. Our SAT word of the week is affidavit, a noun meaning deposition or a sworn statement. An example of this would be because John was unable to testify at the trial, he gave an affidavit to an officer of the court. Now, let's head on over to today's day in history. Mr. V, what happened today in the History Channel? Well, in history today, in 1974, impeachment hearings began against President Nixon and the House of Representatives for his involvement in the Watergate scandal. The Watergate and he said, scandal. he said, I didn't do it because I am not a crook. Oh. Mr. V, was he in fact a crook? Oh, he was so a crook. How much of a crook? This much of a crook. That's a big crook. That's a big crock. What a big crock, won't you agree? Okay, so, back to... Thanks, guys. Delay the day prom fundraiser this week's day and hour to count the changes Friday, May 10th, during fifth hour. Total collection so far is over $170. Let's try and add this on Friday and delay the day. The Kalamazoo Gazette is holding an election to give a little extra <gasps> prominence to one school each weekend during prom season. Help our juniors and seniors get some extra photography coverage of this weekend's prom by voting for CHS. You can find the link to the voting on the Comstock Public Schools Facebook page. Hashtag vote Comstock, vote often. Now, let's head over to that German word of the day. Hey, I'm Mr. V. I'm here with Tillman for today's word of the day. Uh, what was, uh, what word did we have last time? Yeah, what is Le Chef Omar? Le chef et moi. Oh, oh. <laughs> so that's what, what language? Uh, it looks like French. It is French. Very good. Did anyone get it? Yeah, I had one student who got it. And um, I'm sorry I wasn't here today in school, so you will get the chocolate later. So everyone who's still missing chocolate from me, I will come today to all the classes, give you a lot of chocolate. So um, you will get it sooner or later. Just be patient. Just be okay, right. And Le Chef Omoa is the leader in me. Oh, see, I thought Chef had something to do with food, like the food in me or something, or the little <laughs> chef in me, which that did make sense. But the leader in me, oh, oh that's uh, the leader in me, right. And, um, Unagi. Let's see what we got today for chocolate. Okay, what is today's word? Today's word is. All excited. Ah, oh, yeah. You're all very excited, I guess. Um, Tagesschau. Tagesschau. So if we know what the Tagesschau is, it's my little hint today. Is, it has a little bit to do with what the WBNC is doing. Okay. So um, there's your hint. If you know that, you can text me my school email address. Don't forget your seventh hour teacher right, so you can get your teacher. chocolate. Yeah, I really appreciated those today who texted me their fourth or fifth hour student because they knew seventh hour is already over, so they texted me their next hour. So that was really smart of you. So a really good job, that. And tomorrow, include your seventh hour teacher. Text my school email address, my Instagram, the German word dot com, sock, my Snapchat, Atelier Bomb, whatever you want. Get a lot of chocolate, and um, that's it. That's it. All right. Well, thank you, Tillman. Yeah. Back to you. Thanks. <laughs> For students interested in playing football next year, there will be an informational meeting after school in the health room Tuesday, May 21st from 2.30 to 3 p.m. There is no experience necessary to play the football. If you have any questions, please see Coach Ace. The West African Drumming and Dance Ensemble will perform on Saturday, May 18th at the Comstock Community Auditorium. Performance is planned for 7 p.m. Please come out and support our percussionists and dancers that will be taking the place. The Student Lights House Members are accepting new applications to be part of next year's Lighthouse team. If you are interested in applying and being part of the Leader and Me Lighthouse team, your application must be turned in to Ms. Ramsey by Monday, May 13th. Applications can be picked up outside student services. And now, sports. Welcome, Comstock, to the sports. And I already wear my sports stuff, so I'm ready for the sports. And the first sport news today is the women's tennis team. Your Lady Colts will compete in the BCS tournament this Friday. Join us in wishing our tennis players good luck. 
in Roman soccer news, the girls' varsity soccer team endured a tough 80-minute battle against Dovagierk on Friday and that ended with a 0-0 tie. The team played exceptional the whole game but just couldn't find the back of the net. And on Monday, the girls' varsity soccer team lost, unfortunately, to Bridgman with 5-2-2. The Colts gave up a quick three goals in the first 10 minutes of the game but settled down to play even for the remainder of the game. Great job, ladies. Scoring for the Colts were Jamie Jeffries and Kayla Burke. And in women's softball, the Lady Colts won Friday. They won against Benton Harbor with 18-2-2. So very good job in the first game and 17-1 in the second game. Maddie Caswell was the winning pitcher for the first game and Brianna Tiffany was the winning pitcher for the second game. In the first game, Chloe Labrie had a triple and a double scoring five. Brianna Tiffany had two singles scoring three and Abby House had a triple scoring two. In the second game, the Colts had nine hits total with Ty Gear leading the way with three hits scoring six. Labrie and House each had two hits, both scoring two, and Caswell had one hit for scoring two. And Ellie McAllister had a hit for scoring one. And there are also news in men's baseball. On last Friday, your men's Colts beat Benton Harbor 7-2-2. Cole Malohan got the start on the mound going seven innings, giving up two unearned runs. Cole struck out nine while walking around and only gave up three hits. Also, Cole Mulhan led the Colts offensively going 3-3 with two RBI. Jared Plain, Mike Kazard, and Jack Kendall also turned in multi-hit performances. Colts had seven runs on ten hits and four walks. In the second game, the score was Comstock 5, Benton Harbor 2, with the game was shortened to three innings. And Tanner Clemens took the ball in game two, going three innings, giving up two runs with only one earned. He struck out two and gave up zero hits. And Jared Plain led the way for the Colts, going 2-2 with two runs scored. Adam Caswell had two walks and two runs scored. Stephen Brown and Cole Mullohan went both 1-1. And on Saturday, they were at the Banger Invitational Com and Comstock beat Fanville with 11 to 5, so a great job. Sage the Camp started on the hill for the Colts, going 6 to 3rd, giving up 5 runs, 3 earned on 7 hits and 3 walks while striking out 4. Jack Kendall came in relief for 1 3rd inning striking out run to the game. And Jack Kendall led the way offensively going 2-2 two -two with 2 doubles and 2 walks. Mike Hazard added three in hits of his own. TJ Rayleigh went two to four with a double. And the Colts scored 11 runs on 13 hits and six walks. And now I guess you're excited for game two. Game two ended Comstock 18 and Bangor 0. Jared Plain started game with two throwing four innings of no hit shutout baseball during the Mercy Rule victory. He gave up zero hits while striking out nine. The Colts scored 18 runs on 18 hits and 4 walks. Mike Kazar led the team in hits going 4-4. Evan Caswell had 3 hits of his own. TJ Riley, Jack Handel and Tanner Clemens and Owen Drake all threw in 2 hits each. And Trevin Jones came off the bench with a pinched RBI ground out. And the Comps and Comstock also won. Comstock won the Banger Invitational going 2-0, outscoring their opponents 29-5, bringing a trophy back to Comstock. And that has been all sports for today. I just wasn't a lot of sports today, um, so I think you remember all of that. And um, back to you. Thanks, Tillman. This has been Harrison Osborne and Alex Bailey on the WBNC, the White and Blue News Crew, and we will see, see, see you later. later.